Hey guys, this is Snickerdoodle from Jersey. You guys are listening to the Nissan. Recorded live coast to coast, it's the Nissan Nation podcast. From camping, racing, and all points in between, the NNP is your Nissan Nation podcast. Now start your engines and welcome in the hosts, David and Danny. What is going on, Nissan Nation? I am, I am David Boyd alongside my co-host here, Daniel the Big Deal Gruders. What's up, buddy? I believe it's. I believe I would be considered the dual host. I don't know if I'm a oh. co-host. I think I'm a dual host. You're a dual threat. I, I, I believe we should announce me as your dual host from now on. Well, you you definitely are not my equal. You're far and far above what I do, buddy. So how how is your? You know, we missed you last show, Dan. What happened, buddy? I I fell asleep at the pool. <laughs> Damn, SoCal. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sometimes you're at the pool. Slipping, slipping back some of them, some of them brews, and you know you fall asleep. And Dave's got to take the reins. You know <laughs> I can't be the most responsible person in the world. I may be the coolest, but can't guarantee the res- most responsible. Well, hey man, I mean, uh, you know, we we had Mr. Carey jump in there last minute, and uh, he he pulled that's us why through. We, that's why we hired him, right? That's right, Pick man. Pick up my slack. Uh, that that and the cool music he brings each week. Yeah. Um, so what? Ha- well, damn! What happened? Well, we got sad, sad, sad times here, buddy. Uh, we have a uh, like computer problem. Go! What happened to your racing? Oh, sad, sad days. Danny Groters had the old fire suit on. I had my helmet on, ready to race. And uh, you know, we we had the the ECU was just the ECU and wiring harness on the truck was just it, it just wouldn't, didn't work out. I I could talk about it for about three hours, but when it comes down to it, it's uh. It has a lot to do with um, with electrical problems and sensors and what what a stock vehicle needs to see in order to start as far as uh, sensors and whatnot and what a race vehicle should see and what it doesn't and and merging those two worlds is more than just a couple wires it's a it's a long scheme of things. So when it all comes down to it, the the ECU was not working for what we needed to do about a week week ahead of time, and it came down to crunch time. It just didn't, we couldn't get it running. Um, so uh, I ended up doing uh, doing some pit crewing for uh, for the fifteen ten car, and uh, you know we, we we went to the races and everything, but we didn't race. Right. Uh, well, you got I'm sure you so. got some valuable experience from the other side of it, you know. Always, always, always great experience. You know, I, I went down and, uh, you know, I talked to a lot of the guys that we were going to be racing with and, and, you know, it, it's always fun to go to the races. Did you pull and, any spark plug wires there. or anything and make sure that they didn't get to race too? Not so much. That's only if we're going to be <laughs> racing. That's when I, that's the only time I sabotage anybody. <laughs> but, you know, like, it, it's cool because we ended up, we ended up getting sponsored by AEM. We got a new AEM control unit and wiring harness and that stuff. So we're getting that put in, and it, it's it just makes things so much easier for us. So right. AEM's really stepped up and taken care of us, and we we're gonna have the truck um, running by Moab. That's the new plan. So so by you know May 18th for Gone Moab, should have the truck up there for Thursday, Friday, I believe. We'll be giving some rides to our you know some of our uh, supporters and whatnot, and I'll finally be able to get in there and. and Hopefully, press the gas pedal a little bit if you know what I mean. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, anything else cool going on in your world right now, man? I, I see uh, that you posted what? some pictures of uh, working on your frontier. Yeah, well, you know, bef- before I get into that, I bought some. I bought some new underwear from oh. Target, and they're really. There's some about them that just really holds holds me tight and strong, and the support that I've been getting from them is really just giving me a warm fuzzy feeling, and that in turn has uh, allowed me to put some serious work onto the frontier in the Xterra. Um, I got all kinds of crazy ideas for where the those projects are going. But, yeah, we got some new rad flows on the frontier for Moab. Uh, I got some rad flow 2.0s in the back. Uh, the Xterra has a new right front f- uh, inner fender structure. Um, we got rid of the crumple zones in the front and put on some solid steel. Nice. Uh, with some body mounts and all that. You know, I got a new Griffin radiator for it. So she's she's coming along. I'm waiting for some new parts in the mail, some new motor mounts and stuff. And uh, and you know, I got Doug Thorley headers came through. They got to send us a bunch of headers for the for the race truck for my truck. 
So we're uh, we're getting we're getting squared away. We're about ready. We're getting close. So uh, everything is it sounds a okay in uh, the SoCal world over there, huh? So far, so good. We'll 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 find out when I when I turn that key, and I hear that rumble. That's rumble, that's when the that's when the big smile is gonna come. <laughs> well, I can't imagine your smile getting any bigger than what it is every night when I see you do these things. Um, it's, what it's because of you, Dave. Well, I mean, you know. We're gonna are we gonna talk all essential now, Dan? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, probably not. So <laughs> what what do we got going on in Nissan today? Let's see. The 2016 Nissan Maxima details came out at the New York Auto Show, man, and uh, yeah, I feel like I was pretty close. Um, 300 horsepower is what they're they're claiming, and that's I, I call that I call that saucy horsepower. When you, <laughs> when you run over the when you run up to the 300 horsepower and you're in your Lady, so lady, lady size sedan. You know, cro- grocery getter sedan. That's you know, that's beast mode. You know, you, little old ladies are going to be sitting in this thing. And sure. when you got three hundred horsepower, that's pretty freaking sweet. Man. Well, you got I, you got to like scare them ladies every once in a while with that that throttle response. You know, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Good vibrations. They bumped, yeah, they they bumped <laughs> up some fuel economy so that the the, the ladies aren't going to get upset about it. So well, the dudes don't... can get in their ladies' cars and be like, yeah, and they can they can hit the roads with some happiness. That's right, man. Well, you know, you don't want to fill up that car all the time, and it looks like uh, they're going to hit thirty miles a gallon. What they're claiming, man. I'm sure that's combined, but. But who would have thought, you know, a, a fairly large car like that could hit those numbers? And um, I guess love it or hate it that the cafe regulations were coming. They've really forced these guys into to finding every uh, drop of fuel that they can save. Uh, let's see. That was 30 miles EPA estimated. Uh, they're saying it's a 15% increase over the last motor. And right. what I've read from Nissan is this is a new 3.5 in the VQ series. So... You know, maybe that'll that'll bleed like I'm thinking. That engine's going to bleed over to the trucks, and I look for the next frontier to to hit 300 easy. Um, yeah, you know, they're at 261 right now. Yeah, I don't know. So, why, I don't know why they wouldn't be able to to be up in the you know in the even even if they you know dropped it and gave it a little bit more of a torquey torquey motor, they should be up in the 280s. I think 280 to 90 horsepower range. I can't imagine they would drop it much more but yeah well, it's, I, it's it's good news for the for the truck market we'll see you know we'll see what comes out with you know trying to get a much heavier vehicle um getting good gas mileage and whatnot well so. maybe they'll figure out how to super glue some aluminum together like ford's done in uh mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> aluminum you you take it off road and you probably watch those those uh, glue welds pop but <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing with this new maxima is it's going to have a, a a driver attention alert system and what that does is, is what that does is it's recording how your driving pattern is and and say you're on one of those long night um 17 hour trips like me and a JR did to go to Colorado right. it senses it senses your driving characteristics and i guess if you make awkward movements it's going to start alerting you to hey you so know. so hold on hold on wait 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 so if i start air humping in the <laughs> in the car it's going to alert me that like i'm falling asleep that's right man it's going to say hey drink a drink a cup of coffee or get you a mountain dew buddy and speaking what of mountain I, dew so if i so if i start sucking on my own finger in the car like i i feel like that's a fairly awkward moment well I, you know also possibly a lane departure but i think if you're in a diaper that's the only time it's gonna it's gonna connect <laughs> awkward. so <laughs> very totally very awkward, awkward. <laughs> speaking of mountain dew uh if mountain dew out there each week i'm hoping for somebody to listen to our podcast mountain dew i'm a strong supporter my uh <laughs> probably the cancerous <laughs> tumors that i have in my belly right now or uh Due to the fact, but hey, if you want to send a case or two hundred, uh, I'm I'm game. Anyways, Are you, you're doing free Mountain Dew plugs <laughs> so you can get Mountain Dew. Hey, do the Dew, they buddy. The, they got the, they got the new Moonshine Dew or whatever it is. I seen my friend Luke Pankow post up about that, and, and yeah, nothing like drinking a clear a clear soda. I think Pepsi Clear learned their lesson from that in the nineties. Yeah, but... dude, that's what I was gonna say. It's it's Pepsi Clear Gone Dew. Yeah. And listen, if Mountain <laughs> say Dew that five times fast. Couple cases of Mountain Dew, we will test it. Yes, and we will do more podcasting on the Dew, the yeah, Moonshine we'll, Dew, twenty-four hour podcast. Let's do it. Yeah. So, so, anyways, this system, Dan, it looks like you know, I, I hate, I, I sort of hate all these electronics that are being put in this cars and stuff. But I mean, if it can save life and you know keep keep somebody a little uh, alert on the I, long term, I always, I always put my money on the 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 Hummer system. <laughs> I'm scared to ask what the Hummer system is. 
Well, that's, you know, you get a Hummer, you don't fall asleep. <laughs> Am I uh, right? Yeah, GM I just, appreciates I that. I thought that that was a little bit better system than, than like the new driver attention alert systems. The Hummer systems seem to always work better. <laughs> <laughs> well. But, you know, I mean, you can't exactly sell that in your cars. No, so, I guess the know, dealer some could. Some people may not be able to. Is there an attachment for that? Exit. Is there an attachment for the Hummer system? There, you know, there could be. <laughs> that could be a new. That could be a whole new world of money. That's a whole and different Nissan show, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, also this week, Nissan, Nissan, or they're talking GTR, which we we're always searching yeah. for those GTR guys, but they're releasing pricing and. You know what? What's funny about the GTR when they first brought it out, it was going to be an affordable supercar, and you know when I think it was like ninety five thousand dollars or whatever, and I don't know why that how they call that affordable. I guess if you're just a millionaire, that's affordable. But so the new pricing is out, and GTR Premium, Dan is a hundred and one thousand um, dollars. Now, no now you're probably getting one a seriously wicked car for that. And and if I had to like compare a vet to GTR, I'm probably going GTR every time. But let's see, from there it goes up to all the way. What did they got? Nismo, I think, which is at a hundred and forty nine thousand um, dollars. Of course, it's basically a it's a showroom race car. Basically, I mean they they fine tuned everything they can out of that little car. Um, I think they call it factory tuned, is what they do, Dan. Hmm. Uh, could you could you handle could you handle some GTR in your life, buddy? Uh, I would put a GTR in between my legs every day of the week and twice on Sunday just for <laughs> for Jesus. Yeah, well, Jesus, well, Jesus would want a GTR. I'm it's, pretty sure. It's funny, man. I'll, I of course live near the plant here in Smyrna, Tennessee. They, uh, I guess the 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 people that actually work for Nissan at the plant, they can lease cars, and most of them are pretty practical. They'll get them an Altima, and you know you'll lease it for a year and you turn it back in and. I guess they just keep repeating, rinse, repeat. But I'm seeing like 20 brand new GTRs floating around town right now. It's it's the craziest thing to see some of these old guys like that probably have no business in a GTR. And then you'll see some maybe 24 year old that you're like, that's your that you must be living in that car. That's your apartment house or whatever. For real. But it has no idea. But and it's kind of to me, of course. I live next to one of these plants, so it's I see some of these things a little different than everybody else. But it's ruined the GTR slightly to me, man, because you know the old exotic, the R thirty three, R thirty fours, where you might see in a every blue moon, or you'll see like on Fast and Furious or something that made you want that car. But they're turning this car, it seems like, into more of an everyday car. And at a hundred thousand dollars, that's <laughs> that, that's a hell of a I daily driver, man. I think I think you're being skewed by your proximity, sir. Because I, even down here in the LA area, you don't see them. Really? I see more Porsches than I do Porsches oh. than I do GTRs. They're still they're still up there in the in in my consideration. They're up there in the Lambo, Ferrari, sure, sure. you know, R8, Audi kind of world. Um, so when I see them, I still yank my head around. They're not, they don't have the styling of mm -hmm. a Ferrari, mm -hmm. but you know, I feel like they're a little bit more of the in the know people that people that know when they see them, they go, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, well, well, you know, I, I think what a car like this really had to do, I think it pushed Ferrari and them who kind of rested on, I mean, you know, they're always ahead of the game, but they sort of rested on their laurels a little bit with blending computer technology Oh, yeah. With with muscle, you know, just stuff and muscle, and and I'm not sure what the, I seen on TV the other day. The latest Ferrari that's basically a rocket ship that it's all computerized now. So I think yeah. Nissan and these guys have really pushed Lambo and all these guys to head in that direction. Um, but that direction is of the three hundred thousand up type. So you know, I guess the the GTR is affordable, you know, in that in that realm. And speaking of super wicked cars, tonight we got the guys from uh, what was that from Dan? Who are we talking to? That was the Nismo Fiesta. Yeah, it was, buddy. NismoFiesta.com, right? We got Mr. Miles Hall and Mr. Uh, Damian Torrance on the show tonight, and those guys know how to talk cars, man. I guess they're a big, big Z community there in Texas where they hold this event. Yeah, I and, think, uh, I think you know, I, I'm, I, it, it's more than Z community. They got everything coming out there. I mean, this is... The, the you know they they say it and and they they could back it up. This is the biggest Nissan event in the country, 
you know, we we like to we like to think that we have big truck events and whatnot, but these guys got they got the Ratsons out there, they got the they got some trucks out there, right. they got Zs out there, they got GTRs out there, they got you know mild to wild when it comes to to Nissan stuff, and man, they they really know how to do it right. They do, and I guess they were really of the the Nissan world. They're the Babe Ruth man. They're the what you shoot for. They're that seven fourteen yeah. that you want. So let's let's give these guys a little talk to and see what's going on in Texas. Sweet. All right, guys. Tonight we've got uh, Damien and Miles Hall with us. Uh, Guys, tell us a little bit about what you guys do with the Nismo Fiesta. Well, um, Nismo Fiesta is the largest all Datsun Nissan uh, Infinity event in the country. Um, we do this typically uh, around May or in April. Uh, this year we're doing it May 22nd through 24th. And um, the event, um, again, is the largest all Datsun Nissan Infinity event in the country. Um, we do everything in this event that we possibly can as far as fitting in everything from motorsports to dinos to car shows uh, to hill country cruises. Um, and we just jam pack as much as we possibly can. Um, usually one of our mission statements that we talk about every year is just try to wear people down uh, with fun. So we basically <laughs> kill these people with events and every year. And we usually what happens is most people are so tired that they don't even realize they had a blast. And then a week later they call us and they're like, oh, my God, I had a great time. I, <laughs> I cannot wait until next year. And I it's imagine usually that- the kind of – I'm sorry. I imagine that keeps people out of trouble as well. Uh, yeah. It gets us in a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> we try not to. <laughs> right, right. Now, being Damien and our staff, we have a, a great, amazing staff here. And um, like I said, let me add that, you know, our staff is uh, comprised of uh, a lot of the Z Sport. Um, uh, zsport.org which is the largest all uh, it's the largest z club in um in texas um which was the uh it was basically the the, the starting point for nismo fiesta from there we started branching out and started incorporating all the nissan brands then all the dots and brands and then all the infinity brands and that's where we're stopping but we're doing everything underneath those brands right now. And uh, like I said, uh, Damien and, uh, and his staff do an amazing job um, to really make that happen. And, and this event is built on the backbone of family, friends, wives, uh, girlfriends, probably ex-girlfriends from, from <laughs> some of the workload that we put on them. But, uh, but I have to say that, uh, you, you know, it's very much a family event. I, I couldn't – I couldn't do this uh, this charity based event every year without them. We make no money on this event, and, you know. We we do it primarily just to have enough to start up next year, and then everything else goes charity. And, and that's awesome. what I love most about it. I love the fact that it's family oriented, and we give. Um, we definitely give back to the community every year. Well, that that's good to know. And it's you know I've been a part of some Jeep events and stuff, and a lot of these other brands don't. They don't seem to kind of give back a little bit. You know, they want to have a an event and kind of party down but i've noticed like the the nissan events they all seem to you know they take up money for charity and it that's just awesome awesome to hear so damien give me a little bit of background on you what what brought you to this and and what is your background with nissan well um in 2012 i've always been a car guy right i mean we don't become enthusiasts overnight right right Uh, but uh in 2012 um, i bought a 350z and fell in love with the car. I was like, you know what? Let me find a, a car club around San Antonio that might um, be kind of what I'm looking for. I've been in car clubs before, and they, they weren't really uh, quite um, – they weren't very mature. How about that? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, happens. But, but I encountered Z Sport, um, became a member right of way, and uh, during that summer – was the first Nismo Fiesta I attended in 2012, right? We did a cruise. Um, the whole cruise was a whole day event, and I was tired by the end of it and ready to go. <laughs> awesome. And then uh, um, the day after that, we had the actual show. They had autocross. They had uh, karting. And it was, a, it was a massive all Nissan Datsun Infinity car show. And getting to know some of the people that – ran the club at the time. I was like, you know what? I can be a part of this. So in 2013, 
um, actually ran for an officer position um, with Z Sport as an events coordinator for their events. So I put together cruises and tech days and uh, um, track days and autocross days and you know, anything that the club would like to do, right? So uh, when it came, oh yeah, and then we even did bowling. We did like the bowling for the first. Oh, we had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then, um, and then in 2015, um, for for this year, I actually ran for president and uh, was elected. And uh, um, it's it's pretty rewarding. I you know my my biggest uh, um, thing that I like about Z Sport and Nismo Fiesta all together is the main priority of both is to bring the enthusiast first right doesn't mm-hmm. matter what kind of car you drive we're, we're branded nissan infinity Datsun, but i mean you can roll up in an old oldsmobile or something and you know as long as you love the cars we'll welcome you right and and that's that's a lot of a lot of these clubs that if you're not rolling in in what they're driving they want nothing to <laughs> do and it's hard to yeah. it's hard to build an audience or, or you know those those young kids that aren't ready to purchase their their first z or something it's hard to hard to build a brand if you're not gonna let them in yeah yeah i i love the i love the aspect of of a lot of these events you know when it comes when it all boils down to it i you know i i call a lot of my buddies it's just you know it's just a bunch of motorheads that that are into these vehicles you know and let's just say you you know you're saving up for that that 240 project that you've wanted since the day you were born and you haven't quite got the dollars together but when it comes down to it, you know, you, you love it and you, you know, you, you're just a motorhead looking, you know, looking for inspiration or, you know, looking at, at what you, sh- you, you know, you might possibly buy in the future or something like that. And that's, that's kind of like just what I love about events like this. You know, you're, you're kind of taking a, taking a dude that, that, you know, may, may have something amazing or you have a guy that, that, you know, is fresh into the, fresh into the Nissan market and he just wants to know what, you know, what he should be building or something like that. So, so Damien, what, what, what are you driving right now? What, what's your car? Uh, my car is a, it's a 2003 350Z. Mm-hmm. Anything specially done to it or? Uh, I got some bolt-ons on it and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, we haven't torn it apart just yet. So, <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> what, what do you, Miles, what, what are you driving on right now? Uh, let me see here. I've got a slick top 300 ZX 95. Mm-hmm. Um, getting ready to do the uh, a twin turbo swap uh, when I have some free time from this Mo Fiesta from planning, which <laughs> is about two weeks <laughs> out of the year. And then I've got a uh, another 300 ZX slick top that's a track uh, car that's been a project for a while called Low Fat Z. Um, it's basically uh, I call it Low Fats. Um, but basically what it is, it's, a, it's supposed to be the lightest Z32 that we could ever make. Mm-hmm. So basically we took everything and stripped all the bolts out of it. And, uh, we were trying to build up a NA motor for 300 horsepower. And I don't know. That, that project's been in the works for like three or four years now. Oh, I, I understand those. <laughs> my daily is a, a Nismo Frontier mm-hmm. uh, 2009. Yes. I absolutely love that uh, that truck. Um, the uh, I had to drive all the way to Houston to pick it up with my girlfriend. She thought it was crazy to <laughs> drive all the way out there to go get it. It's amazing uh, what people it, do with their, you know, when you want a certain car. <laughs> you'll, uh, I, I you got to go looking. Like six months. Yeah, I shopped for like six months to find that specific vehicle because if it wasn't that, it was either going to be one of two things. It was either going to be an Xterra or it was going to be a Juke. And um, I was like, eh. I was like, I wanted the Xterra, but you know, I wanted one that was, I wanted to find the supercharger one and strip it out and tear it all apart and just roll bar. And it was just like, okay. I was like, I, I need to get to work and I right. don't need to <laughs> yeah, not have windows. Too many projects. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you go to my house and it's like, there's always something going on there. It's crazy. Yep. And we're trying to talk Damien into more projects. And <laughs> I, I will, I will add though that uh, this year I did, actually did buy another Nissan. I bought a 2015 huh? Nissan Versa Note. All right. And, and I'm going to tell you guys, that car is like the workhorse of Nismo Fiesta because you guys got to understand, we are a Z car club. We all have sports cars and nobody <laughs> owns a truck. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's hard to haul things around in a 350Z, you know? And that yeah, no, I hear that. Me, it's we, funny. We, 
Yeah, you know, like it's it's almost like that scene from Fast and Furious where they pick up all the parts for the, that Toyota Supra, and you got like this big pile high of uh, of parts in the back of one truck, and then you've got nine Zs that are following behind it. And you're just like, that's how we roll, man. Yeah. Like you'll you'll have twenty canopies piling out of one. It's just it's it's extremely funny and comical to see us to see us just coordinating events sometimes. But uh, you know, uh. but we get you know we get thirty forty people in the line, and people are like, oh, these guys are going to a rally. No, we're just moving shit. It sounds like you guys know. sounds like you guys need one of those new Titans. Xterra Performance has your Nissan cover for any off-road adventures. With aftermarket brands like ARB, CVT Tents, Warren, Heps Designs, Insane Fab, White Knuckle Sliders, and so many more. When you're ready to take your truck or SUV to the next level, search www.exteraperformance.com for the best deals around. Remember, that's exteraperformance.com. What what are you, um, since you guys are kind of car guys, what do you what's y'all's impression of that new Titan? Oh, it's amazing. Um, you know, I, I, you know what I fell in love with here lately. I mean, not to to steer, but the, that Wounded Warriors project. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's oh, an yeah. amazing truck. I saw truck. that at a, I saw that at Coda uh, for the uh, Continental Tire Series, the one that just came through, and Circuit of the Americas. An amazing truck. They had a uh, Nissan had a great setup there with a. Uh, um, oh my God, it was uh, John Morton's five ten. They had an R three ninety there from back in the day, um, and they had nice. their, their their whole um, uh, simulators set up there. And then they had the Wounded Warriors truck, which is amazing truck. Well, I just love that. You know I'm that's supposed to that, tr- too. that truck's going to be at the the Texas uh, truck meet that's supposed to be coming up pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, so what do, what do you think of it, Damien? What's your uh, impressions of well, it? Um, I do like the idea of a heavy duty nissan truck right it's mm-hmm. been something that nissan's needed for a long time um i i've i'm a technical guy you know so mm-hmm. I'm a, i like the dual stage turbo i don't know if you guys knew yeah. about that yeah yeah, yeah uh, absolutely no i'm right on there yeah the, uh, the uh the fact that that dodge dropped the ball on cummins um and uh, Nissan, Nissan picked it right back up and put out a truck. It's that great. is an amazing motor to go in an amazing truck. I mean, the the union of the two is just going to be, I don't know. It's 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 going to be one of those vehicles that's sought after, you know, uh, forever. So I well, hope they just make it mainline, mainstream, and uh, after a while, and make it extremely affordable. And then and you'll you'll see that vehicle everywhere. Once it goes fleet, it's going to be unstoppable. Sure, so. sure. Well, I've never yeah. seen anything uh, diesel that's affordable, right? <laughs> Not in the first yeah, couple well, of years. Yeah, that's true. Um, so what with with this event you're doing, I'm sure you're having to get on forums and stuff and, and kind of spreading the word. What's what's the big forums that you guys try to hang out on? You know, the thing about our event is we're everywhere. Uh, we go everything from, you know, uh, my 350Z forums, 370Z forums. We're on Nico, um, uh, where we try to hit from time to time. We're on twinturbo.net. We're, I mean, we're everywhere. Um, right. We try to hit everything. The problem that we're running into now is um, – you know, uh, we really want to get the word to the off-road community and the truck community to start getting them um, out to our events. We have great numbers for it, but we know that that truck community is so strong. And uh, when they come out in their numbers, they are just massive. Right, right. Yep. And, and you know, it's the, the trucks and the SUV crowds are all so different. And, and then on top of those three categories being different, you've got the car guys. And it, it's a weird meshing uh we're me and Dan are big with the Xterras and Frontiers, and even Xterra to Frontier, like the Xterra crowd, is all about off roading. I think when when Nissan came out with that everything you need, nothing you don't kind of thing, it really sparked a community. And but the Frontier guys are just completely different. They'll build a, a truck up, and there's some that will are hardcore off roaders, but for the most part, they you know they don't want to take their vehicles off off road. And then the Titan guys on top of that. You know, you've got either you've got your guys that want the lowered vehicles, or you've got your your guys that are you know trying to these thirty five ty- you know inch tires and LED bars everywhere. So so hands off for you guys trying to merge all these crowds together. Uh, Dan, what what do you think on that? Because it's that's a strange crowd. Yeah, and you know, being in the in the sales market, you know, I'm trying I'm looking at different 
sales aspects for Xterra's Frontiers, and um, you know, I, I'm a bit, I'm a big fan of all Nissan products, really. Um, and seeing the cars and stuff like that, it's, I, you know, it's 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 a ton of different markets. But like like I was kind of saying earlier, you know, when it when it when it all boils down to it, we're all just a bunch of you know, truck car junkies. You know, we like we like horsepower, we like suspension. You know, whether it's lowered or I mean, I can I can I can even appreciate a, a stanced what they call a stanced vehicle. You know, these days, you know what? Like you know that I mean, it's all cambered out like crazy. And you know whether whether you're wearing your tires out on the side, I don't I don't care if that's your thing. That's your thing. That's awesome. You know, as long as you're as long as you like your car and you you know you're making it cool and you're you're trying to stand out in the crowd. Um, that's that's my thing. And and I know there's tons of guys out there that. You know whether whether you know it, it's your specific, you know, like you know whether you like that or not. Um, when it comes down to it, you know your car guys or your truck guys. Either either way, you know your motorheads. And uh, yeah. I think it's awesome that you're bringing all the guys together. Um, and I think there's so many people that can appreciate more than just you know, hey, my I got a lifted truck. And that's all I like. I think there's a lot of people out there that are just car guys. And I mean, I can appreciate anything from a you know a '79. Z28 Camaro to a, you know, to a, you know, a crazy GTR that's been, you know, GTR Nismo that's, you know, come straight off the factory line that they brought down, you know, that I'm just drooling over. Um, yeah. So that's, I think that's the best part about meets like this where it's not just a bunch of Zs, you know, it's, you got Jukes and you got Zs, you got GTRs, you know, and I mean, if you, if you're, you know, if you like the brand of, of, of nissans you know it's it's a little bit more of a of a orgy fe- a <laughs> nissan yeah. orgy fest if you yeah, it, of that it, it kinda, of that sweet stuff so it's a little bit more down your alley so. yeah it, it gets a little crazy sometimes like when and what's funny about this is like there's all these like um sub communities that are that are within nismo fiesta that we kind of cater to every year like uh the ratson group um oh, yeah. is actually it's a great website and what it is is they're they're for the dots and guys that are just not about the appearance they're just they're all about uh, you know having that that style and it's just there's something yeah. about their cars that it's just you're like sure. man that's cool and, and they're yeah, just one group sure. i mean we have you know the texas titan guys they show up every year and they're their own group and you know uh you know we have all these subgroups and we have great vendors and great sponsors like courtesy nissan san marcos nissan um you know twin turbo.net we've got um Jim Wolf. You know, Jim Wolf Technologies, uh, Stillin, oh. helps us out every year. I mean, there, there's loads and loads of sponsors that we have, and I apologize for any sponsors that I made a miss, but <laughs> um, just kind of going back to it, you know, the I guess the funny thing is every year when we're – the most comical thing is when me and Damien are sitting across from a table, and we're trying to pick out trophies is always fun because we're like – you know, if you start thinking all the brands just under the Nissan brand, I mean, we run up like thousands of dollars, a couple thousands in trophies, and we're just laughing at it. We're like, okay, are we going to do Frontiers Slammed? We're going to do Frontiers <laughs> Lifted, Frontiers Daily Drivers, first, second, third. Yeah. And we're just like, and yeah. and then I and then That's I slide it. over. It was like, okay, how much are trophies going to cost us? Oh, it's like ten thousand dollars. We're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, maybe we're going to have to cut back a little bit, and that's. And that's the funny yeah. thing is every year when we're doing these, I mean, it's, you know, uh, we have just such a, a crazy amount of people that come out for this. And me personally, I, I love an underdog. I, I like to see the, I like to see the NX, the Nissan NX guys comes out and yeah. then, and he's slammed yeah. and, he, and you're like, man, how did you get that car slammed? And how did you get that yeah. brake kit? He goes, I made it all myself because they don't yeah, make anything. No. Right. I I'm, love those I'm there guys. with you. Yeah, the Datsun sure. 620 guys, those guys are coming yeah. out. With, they're coming out in force now, man. I, they're coming out slammed, regular stock, rats in style. I mean, it, it's it's crazy, you know, just how much stuff there is. I saw um, somebody rocking one of those Nissan Patrols um, last uh-huh. year. Uh, wow. The Jeeps that they only, you know, uh, that they yeah, weren't yeah. available in the U.S. And somebody shipped one over, and they, I guess it was an old mail truck, and it was right-hand drive. It was super, super clean and like some nice. baby blue uh, kind of faded. I mean, just throwing it out there, but that was just one thing. I was like, man, you kind of have to go and 
and there's even the VIP style that's out there now. We're starting to see like these uh, SEMAs and Nissan Leopards that yeah. were never in the United States. And like <laughs> that's sitting in somebody's garage in the middle of Oklahoma and they're making the drive down right. for us so, in Texas. And, so with, so. with with the – you were mentioning some exotic cars. I'm assuming maybe some R34s, stuff like that popping up? Yeah. You know, it, it's. I never thought I would ever say this, that I um, – I like, you know, we, we almost expect R32s, R33s, R34 Skylines to show up every year now. Mm-hmm. You, it's like before we're like, oh, we might have one R34. Now we're getting like six, seven, eight, nine. We're wow. like, it's crazy. There's that 20 year ban or the, the 20 year thing or something. For the R32s, I, was, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm already with I, you. I had one. I had one driving next to me uh, off the military base the other day, and I said, "Where'd you okay. get that?" He said, I, "I just imported it from from Japan. Yeah. I was stationed over there, and I got it yep. and sent it back." And I said, "Wow." Yeah. Yeah, cool. people are picking them up out of Canada right now. They're they're picking up all the uh, the GTRs and they're, mm-hmm. you know, they're. Hey, I'll tell you what, that was one of my dream cars. So, of course. Yeah, we. I actually in in my town here, we actually have an R34, a legal one that that really? every, yeah, yeah that every once in a while comes out of the garage and a uh, and he'll they have a big they have a big auto show here every Friday at the malls and and every once in a while he'll bring that thing out and God, it's just. You know that to me that was that's just perfection right there. I don't know what it is about it. You know, just kind of the squarish headlights and and it just didn't seem to fit the time period that it was in. But God, they're just, just little rocket ships, and I love those things. So you know what's happening also too. I was going to say we're also oh, seeing a lot of swaps now. Like uh, we're starting to see the V8 Titan motors mm-hmm. starting to fall into cars wherever they can shoehorn them. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I'm starting. I'm starting to see those things like um, thrown into frontiers. And we're starting mm-hmm. to see, like, we have this crazy, like, swap thing that's going on. We have a, a guy with a 350Z motor that's thrown into a, a 240SX. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting nuts. Very cool. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's that's thing. That's motorhead. That's motorheads for you, though. And, th- and that's what, I mean, personally, that's what I love. It's just dudes getting creative. You know, they're sticking with their brand, but at the same time, they're just making cool cars. And, you know, you go to an event like that, and you're going to see, I mean, with, like yours, and you're going to see, you know, just kind of like the best of the best, you know, just a lot of, you know, garage engineers, as I call them, just, you know, doing their thing. And that's, you know, there's nothing better than going out and, and especially, I mean, you guys are having track days and all that kind of stuff. And not only do you get to see them, but you get to see these guys take them out and just, you know, take them yeah, out know, and, um, and, and burn everything. some rubber, man. Yeah. Maybe that's one good thing <laughs> of the globalization that they're doing with these cars now, because, you know, like the Z transmission bolts right into the trucks and stuff and it's it's like they're just making one motor basically you know the the 3.5 is basically the 4.0 of the truck and so yeah that, it's crazy yeah, yeah and and i've seen uh uh calamini did a an xterra with the v8 titan engine in it and it's just a wicked looking vehicle so yeah i mean even like the navara stuff i mean is starting to come around and sure. like you're starting to see the parts available now and i mean like believe me i love the frontier but the navara was a it was a bad, a bad truck. And I'm just like, Oh my God, I wish they would ever sell that, but you can buy it and piece it and make it yourself. Sure. You know? Sure. So, so yeah. do you guys have any kind of corporate, uh, ties or, or is, does Nissan, they know about you? Tell well, us about we, that. we work. Yeah. We work, we work closely with uh, Nissan corporate, um, every year. So every time we do our event, we're making sure that, um, we're kind of working on, on their timeline. And, and they're also, we have these conversations like, it's funny, right after we're done with this event in May, we'll probably, we usually take a, a three or four week hiatus. And then from there, it's right back to planning the next year. So we call over Nissan Corporate and we usually have a lot of uh, uh, verbal conversations with their, their with their planning and marketing teams. Mm-hmm. And they let us know, hey, this is what, you know, what's in the, the plan for 2016. And we're like, okay, well, you know, we'll start. And we start trying to cater to them a little bit. Sure. And right. they also do the same thing for us. Um, every year we give out loads and loads of swag and um, whatever is kind of um, Nissan Corporate's doing every year. So last year they came out, we did that road trip and they gave out, I mean, a couple hundreds of uh, the Nismo shirts with the uh, – uh, with the new corporate headquarters that were in Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, gotcha. that, that was great. And then, you know, the thing is we also, uh, we try to link up with all the other um, national corporations like that Nissan is already competing with in the motorsports world, like Yokohama, mm-hmm. Motul. Yeah. Um, you know, if they're, if they're on the vehicles, usually we're trying to work with them um, That's smart. directly. It, well, because it, it just makes sense, sure. you know, because yeah, that way everybody can work together versus. Yeah, and it's, yeah. A, it's a built-in partnership that, that you know, it's not, you're not have to put the puzzle together. The puzzle's there. You're just put snapping that piece there. Exactly. Um, 
So what? I, I'm assuming everybody around the the U.S. attends. I mean, what's what's the distance? What's kind of where's your furthest from? And man, I've had guys come from Canada last year. It was the longest I told. Wow. We, and then are we having people flying from Japan? I think this year. Yeah, well, last Very year. Cool. Uh, um, you know, look, a lot of people don't know this, but the 350Z is enormous in Australia, and we have some people come yeah. from Australia. To, oh, that's right. To our show just to see what we're all about. Right. Have, have you, cool. Do you guys have any kind of ties to, I mean, obviously with Australia, but you know, they've got the V8 supercars down there, man, and it mm-hmm. seems like, it, and they've tried to pull those guys up here every once in a while. It seems like that would be a good good fit for you know they're into racing well, you guys are into the it. the beautiful thing about i mean we were in san antonio and we're based out of san antonio but um we had to move the event to austin because it made more sense we have a track that we're utilizing this year called the driveway mm-hmm. the driveway is a an amazing track but there is the circuit of the americas which is the only f1 track in the united states um and it's an amazingly beautiful track and what the the nice thing about that the continental tire series comes through there the v8 supercars comes through there so usually what happens is um we get a nod every year before the event comes up and usually what nissan corporate will do is say hey um you know this event's coming through and we do a large meet and then from there people get to meet and greet with their um you know, with their with their heroes, and which yeah. makes it great for us because from time to time, um, we'll we'll occasionally try to work out depending on race schedules. Like right this year, we're trying to get guys like Brian Highcotter, um, who currently races for Nissan. Mm-hmm. Um, we try Brian Kleeman. We're trying to work on him. We also try to get heroes from the sport like um, like Steve Mellon. Uh, he's been out to uh, Texas a couple times. We'd like to have him come back for Nismo Fiesta. We're working on John Morton, but again, you know, um, sometimes schedules come into play here and. You right. know, it just depends uh, what we have, but we, you know, uh, we love all those guys. I mean, Bob Sharps, the, um, you know, all the heroes of the industry is what we want to see because mm-hmm. really, you know, uh, that's what it kind of comes down to. It's seeing those cars once you start bringing in those folks that are, you know, heroes of the industry. Sure. Um, the other thing we're working on right now is designers. We um, a lot of things you won't see at uh, other events is um, these designers that you don't know who designed the. Um, you know, like the D40 Frontier. You don't mm-hmm. know who designed the the Skyline. You don't know who did. Well, these things are starting to come to light now, and uh, we're finding these designers through through the use of Facebook, through the use of the internet, and awesome. we're trying to bring those folks here to start signing autographs and make heroes and make our own. Sure, sure. It's uh, about heritage. Community. You know the heritage. Um, and speaking of that, I, I seen that you guys are going to kind of do something about about uh, the passing of Mr. K. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I was going to mention it for our Friday event. So this Mo Fiesta is a three-day event. We do a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday, um, and it is it's 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 a lot to do in three days for for most attendees. We 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 kind of murder them with fun. <laughs> so with Friday night is our opening banquet, but with Mr. K passing this year at 105 years old, um, it was a huge devastation uh, to the not just the Z community but the Nissan community in general. Sure. Um, and, um, and me and Damien have been working extremely hard on doing a, a proper proposal. And we also have uh, legendary figures like Mad Mike Taylor. Um, he's showing up for uh, for that uh, for that memorial, where we'll probably do something that. Um, is uh, a fitting tribute to him. Mm-hmm. So we use it. We're going to be doing a memorial on Friday night, and then uh, of course uh, the rest of the week we we have some surprises that I can't let too much out of the bag. Oh, but awesome! Nice, we'll have... good. <laughs> we do. Good. We don't. We don't it's expect best that way. So um, once again, when when is the the uh, the times on this? Uh, the car show is. Uh, it's from May twenty second through May twenty fourth. Well, May twenty second, twenty twenty fourth is the Nismo Fiesta event. Friday is our opening. Friday banquet. is the is the banquet. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then um, Saturday is our Hill Country Cruise and Track Day at, at the driveway in Austin. Mm-hmm. And then that night is the night party, which is the mixer of everything. All the communities, all the forums, Nissan corporates there. It's just a big, nice mix of of everything. Um, then, if people have the opportunity to wake up. <laughs> after that mixer night um usually what we do is we do our, our massive car show so it's going to be uh, our car show our karting our dyno and uh, we also are adding in a few different things that we're trying out this year we're doing an rc 
uh, drifting track on the actual track. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Drag nice. Austin. Yeah, so, I mean, the scenery and the backdrop is going to be amazing this year. Awesome. Um, and um, it, it's just, it's all going to work out well. And then uh, we, we shut that down on Sunday evening to give people enough time to either start making it back to their homes. For those folks that got a long travel, they mm -hmm. usually try to get some sleep back at the hotel and then and then plan their long trip back to Australia, Canada, Mexico, I mean wherever the wherever these people are driving in from. Right. So nice. so what is the what is the context we can do for this? Is there a website? Yeah, it's actually through uh, nismofiesta.com. Uh, we actually have a very huge uh, Facebook page. Uh, we're also on Instagram too as well. Mm -hmm. We're uh, we're updating all that information at this time. And and if people want to kind of attend is would the website be the best place to find out about attending? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the website includes all the information about each event, and um, on the website itself, uh, there's a big uh, uh, flyer on the front of it. All they have to do is click on that, and it'll take them straight to the registration page. Okay, and and I think I was noticing there's two ways to register for if you're going to do just the car ride or versus the track time. Is that right? Right. The, uh, the track day and the cruise uh, actually take place at the exact same time. Okay. So... Uh, so, you know, people will have to do one or the other, um, but it gives people options that, that, and that cruise is a charity cruise. We don't, we don't make anything, um, off of that. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to pick your level of uh, extreme. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and with the cruise, I mean, we do try and separate it cause you know, you have some guys in the, you know, twin turbo three fifties and three seventies that want to go crazy. And we put those guys kind of by themselves <laughs> and then, uh, we'll have some guys, uh, we actually do have a couple of truck groups this year um, that will be led by trucks um, cool. through this cruise. Oh, yeah, good. Hey, they're all turboed and, you know, forced induction, supercharged. So yeah. those guys do their own, like, mini groups. I mean, it, it gets – planning these things get extremely detailed and extremely, like, yeah. uh, elitist. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have a, a, a guesstimate of how many – let's say let's just say how many cars are coming to this oh, event? Yeah. Cars and trucks are coming to this event? Last year we were over 500. Wow. Um, wow. This year, consider we're moving it to Austin. We're thinking we're going to be. I mean, it's funny. Every year we've we've thrown this event, we've grown. We're probably mm -hmm. looking six, seven hundred. You know, but but wow. we've moved the event to Austin. So, you know, this is kind of a trial year for us. We're we're yeah. assuming we're going to grow. We assume every year we're going to grow. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, everything every year just gets bigger. It's every. Right. You know, with Austin, we just think everything's going to be on steroids this year so our staff has grown um our attendance has grown so we had to we had to step it up we need larger spaces we need right. a larger hotel um mm -hmm. so we actually based our hotel off of the austin airport hotel so as soon as you if say for instance you know what my cars are down my z's are down my xterra is down i'm just going to fly to this event you fly right. into the Austin airport and you're immediately at the host hotel no, you take a shuttle smart. and you're right there it's part of the austin the actual yeah uh, well, Austin Hotel. And we, Austin's we a party. And it's such a good party town as well, you know. I mean, they, oh, they live you, you music even, I, and just I'm, food. You know what's funny is me and Damien were having that conversation. We're like, man, how many hungover people are we going to get from partying on 6th Street, downtown <laughs> Austin, on Saturday yeah. night, and people coming over with the black circles on their eyes on Sunday morning, including us. So, yeah, yeah it's it's crazy. And then we have all these subgroups that are planning. It's funny. All these, like, subgroups are planning their own, like, little parties. Mm -hmm. And right. they're like, well, it's a chance for all these guys to meet at one time of the year. And um, so mm -hmm. they're like, I know guys that are going to bars. These guys are going to a steak place. These guys are going to, you know, a, a, a house of ill repute. We'll go ahead and say, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then these, and it's funny. It just kind of happens like that every year where it's like, you know, we have these like little mini groups that get together and, you know, uh, and, and people tell me this every year. It's their one chance to see all their friends and you know to grow and, and pick up new friends i mean that's why we do it you know um when it comes to, right down to it i mean me and damien and our, our amazing staff work hard every year um we don't we don't do it for money if anything you know we <laughs> a lot of things come to jeopardy because of this event in our own lives but mm -hmm. at the end of it all when when you're when it's sunday evening and uh, we're, you know, it's like nine o'clock at Sunday for us and the event's over and me and Damien are just, you know, sunbaked and we're peeling flakes of skin off our foreheads <laughs> from sunbaked. And, you know, we look back and we share stories about like, 
you know, a family, uh, you know, a father and a son kind of like just came up to him and they had a, an amazing event or, um, you know, uh, we give out a, an event or we give out an award every year. One of our many awards that we give out called the spirit of Nismo Fiesta. And, um, this, uh, you know, and it really, what it is, it's a, it's, it's somebody out there that just did everything that they possibly could the entire week. And they did the dyno, they did the cruise, but it's also about, uh, that, that just that beautiful person that just encompasses everything about the event last year. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let Damien talk about it, but we gave out a, the spirit of Nismo Fiesta to an exceptional young man. Yeah. Um, we, we gave it to a guy. Um, he's a, a veteran, a army veteran. He's a wounded warrior. Um, lost both his legs, uh, some other parts to him too. And, uh, he drives around a modified 370 Z, right? Hand controls and everything. Oh, cool. And, uh, nice. you know, this guy took his car to um, one of the, uh, you know, accessible driving shops here in San Antonio and told them, look, I need to drive this car on a track. Okay. And, I need <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> so I can keep drive it, it on keep in mind he has no, he has no legs from his kneecaps down. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you, you couldn't tell with the, with the, the enthusiasm of this kid. He's oh, amazing. Man. And, and, uh, um, and his name is, his name is Justin Lane. And I, he's a pretty good musician. He prefers to be called RoboCop. Yeah. <laughs> <Very> nice. <laughs> nice. Amazing. But he, but he, he's a good guy. And one of the reasons why, why we give this award, or why he got it, is because he didn't expect it. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. If, if anybody's it is expecting a award like that, yeah. they, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't get it anyway. You know? Yeah. And, uh, well, he know, did everything. Dude. He, he, at the end of the week, I mean, because of the prosthetics, he had blisters on, on his knees from walking to the event, like walking the entire week. He, he literally was, was beaten up. We, we had beaten up, uh, effectively a wounded warrior, which is a horrible <laughs> thing to say. But, I mean, we killed this kid the entire week with just an amazing, an amazing event. And, you know, at the end of the week, he was just, you know, he, he had, he, he was so tired. But he had an amazing event that he had an amazing time that he couldn't have experienced anywhere else. He spent money that he got, um, you know, from from the government um, to to modify his car just to attend this event. And I mean, you know, it, it's hard for me to talk about this without getting choked up. But I mean, that kind of those type of things actually is why I mean, that's that's affectionately why we do this event. You that's know, awesome. You know, absolutely. Yeah. So, well, we, we man, that. yeah. I wish if you could connect us to this guy, we'd love to talk with him sometime. Yeah, sure, sure. His, his name is uh, Justin Lane. He, <laughs> you can get him on. You can get him on YouTube. He's a singer. Um, he's a guitarist. Uh, he's he's a good he's a good all around guy. He's a good guy. Good yeah. guy. Well, awesome. So so one more time. What is what's your website again? Uh, www.nismofiesta.com. Um, just click on the main uh, flyer there right in the middle, and it'll take you straight to registration. Okay. Well, guys, we, we definitely appreciate your time tonight. And we really, after your event, we would love to talk to you again and just see how it went and see how it's grown this year. Yeah, you might want to give us a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let you guys, when, when you're ready to talk cars again, you, you contact if we us. Have, if we have voices, then we'll be like, oh, it's great. Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> but um, go ahead, Dan. And, and also, guys, if, if – if there's any chance that I could get a little bit of a sponsorship information, um, I'm, I'm seriously um, considering and 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 ask and asking the powers that be, aka the wife, uh, if I can if I can get uh, you know three more days to drive from from Utah straight over to your event because <laughs> I'd have I would have everything in my truck and oh man I I tell you what well, I couldn't I couldn't I'll think of anything what. more fun to go cr I'll straight over there. I'll tell you what, we'll make you a deal. If you can get authority from the boss, aka the wife, to come, right. we'll get you a room to stay in. Awesome. Oh man, I'm I'm so, I'm so in now. You should have said that that's, now. That's, that's, you consider that a shoe in? No, no pressure. Yeah. Right. Well, guys, guys, cool. we've we've really really appreciated having you guys tonight, and uh, we we really do hope to talk to you again. Yeah, sounds great. Sure. We'll see you guys soon. Love the show, guys. All right. Thanks, All right. guys. Uh, I own a company called Xterra Performance. Um, we specialize in selling off-road Nissan stuff. Um, and I started, started driving a Nissan Xterra. And, you know, 
So that was the guys with um, the Nismo Fiesta, man. That that sounds like something I want to be a part of big time. And of course, it's yeah. it's the you know from what they were saying is the biggest event out there for Nissan. And uh, they don't you know they don't just play around with Nissan. It's it's Datsun or Infinity. Yeah. They seem to want to do it all. And from what it sounds like, they have it all. And these guys sound they, like they work twenty four seven to make sure everybody has a great yeah. time. They got a pretty, they got a pretty solid event, man. If I was a Billy Goat, I'd be showing up there immediately <laughs> with a Nissan badge on. <laughs> N- Nissan Billy Goat Gruff, that's what they call me. That's a, that's a, we need a mascot, man. That would be a good mascot. Billy Goat, classic yeah. Nissan Nation podcast. <laughs> Billy Goat. Well, I know we keep promising everybody next time, next time, next time. We've got Greg with a uh, Nismo or uh, Nico Club pinned down. We're just trying to it's it's like four time zones to get that interview done, but we're gonna do it for you guys in a we're get them. We're probably next time we're gonna talk some more uh trucks. We got Gone Moab coming up. When is that, Dan? May what? Eighteenth. All right. Twenty first. Eighteenth to twenty first, I believe. Go on Moab.com for those that uh, were interested. But we've got that, and I'll be out. Me and Dan will be holding hands again, face-to-face, buddy. Yeah, nothing like a little neck nuzzling. We're going to try dudes. to do a, a special podcast from the event. Maybe we'll post up a couple quick blurbs while I'm out at the event. Um, and check then we it, got check out our check out our Facebook. We'll be posting pictures. Oh, yeah. We'll be doing the Danny. We'll be doing the Dave. We'll be doing Shamog style. Anything and everything that you could possibly think of. And you can guarantee that the selfies will be rolling deep. Skin deep, anyways. <laughs> What's that? Skin deep, anyways. Yeah. So, so for everybody here at the, the show, JR, Danny, the big deal, my name is David Boyd, and this is the Nissan Nation. And what are we, Dan? Dan. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we are out. Say it.